Valley. All right, hey guys, I'm here. Multiple seconds vlog. Nope, nope, that is not this channel. I'm sorry. I am Wasted Light 7 with the artist formerly known as The Roundabout. Now today, I am going to be playing one of these games. And it's not this one, this one, this one, or this one. It is Bully Scholarship Edition. Yeah. All right, this is actually the second time I am recording this. It's a little series, because the first time I recorded it was actually last week on Labor Day, and it did not turn out well. No, not at all. And, you know, I'm not down with releasing stuff that does not turn out well. So, I'm going to try and record this for you again, and I hope it turns out well. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to give up, because, you know, my computer sucks. Hard. Alright, well, I'm going to be recording this in <laughs> segments of one hour, because, because, why am I going to be doing that? Hold on, I'm trying to multitask here. I'm going to be recording this in segments of one hour, because I don't know how this game is broken up. So, timer start now. One hour from now is when the video will end, and we can do something productive with our lives. Okay. Uh, guess, uh, game saves slash gamer picks. That's what we're going to be doing. So, oh, this is still going to be a blind let's play. I've never played this game before, except for, of course, Labor Day, when I tried to uh, record this the first time. I'll see my old save file. Hold on, guys. False start. Let's quit to the main menu, figure this out. Start from the beginning. Not one hour in. Alright. Now, is there a way I can... Story. Wait, please don't start me where I... Ah, uh, they did it again. Alright. Um, I can figure this out, guys. Don't worry. I got this covered. Alright. Let's, let's delete this. Delete the old save file. And then we'll go back to the start. Go to main menu. And hopefully it will start us anew. That would be great, if you ask me. Story. Here we go. And cutscene. So I'm going to shut up now. So you can enjoy it. Okay. See you in a bit. Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat. You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. All right, welcome to Bullworth, everybody. This is the school that we'll have to deal with for the next, the rest of the time here. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. 
I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Crabble snitch. All right, so we just need to go to the main building. Nothing too fancy here. There are enemies. Don't fight that. No, I don't want to fight you guys right now. I have, I hate you. I have something to do. The present I moment. You want a piece of fatty? Run, Jimmy Hopkins. Run to the principal's office. Steps. And his office. Is, wow, wow, well, camera angles. Let's not deal with that. Office Hello right there, ma'am. I'm really hoping I can make this engaging for you guys. Ah, yes. So you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh huh. What? Uh huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. I have a feeling Mr. Crabblesnitch is a bit of a pedophile. You know, just a hunch I have. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. All right, go to the boys' dorm. Fortunately, because I've played this before, Perhaps at least the first hour, I know where the boys' dorm is. Hooray for knowledge of locations in new schools. Uh, yeah, like I said before, before I got rudely interrupted by a uh, pedo bear. That uh, I, I'm hoping I can make this exciting for you guys, at least the first hour, because I have played it before, and it's not gonna be fresh. I'm sorry. But so is life. Guess what time it is? Yep, time for a beatdown. Get the new kid. Beat him down. What a warm Go. welcome I have Go. here. Go. Oh, oh, he's getting beat. Finally, some good old teenage bloodshed. Give him the finish! Give him the finish! No. Uh -huh, yeah. Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> it's a freaking massacre! Fight! 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 Stuff that dork butt's head up his butt! Kick his knees in! What are you doing? I'm fighting the bully. Oh! Oh! Use the arm bar! Use the arm bar! Stuff that dork butt's head up his butt! Ha ha! Yeah! Take him to hell! Ha ha ha! Oh, oh, he's getting beat! 
Young man, go change immediately. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, we almost got laid out there. That was, that was n not a pleasant time. Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah. What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy, or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now, if you'll excuse me. I said, me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? Did you have a Okay. We don't have a bar in the door. Drink Just a soda machine. Pay for a Y button. Very simple. Taste you should probably change into your uniform awesome. if you don't want to get in trouble. My room's right here. The wardrobe is over here. This y button. Y is basically just a general action button. You know. I have school uniform, pajamas, and a custom outfit. That's pretty neat. I didn't know I had that. Yeah, let's go with school uniform. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life, my parents, this school, Western civilization. But really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey. Haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. That Gary is a nice fellow, isn't he? Wait, 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 save. I should probably save. That would, might be a good thing to do. There we go. Saving content. Awesome. Alright, now I do believe our next goal is to go to class. Or that might be tomorrow, I'm not positive. We are going to see... To start a task, you cannot access your save book. That is good. I did not know that actually. That is great to know. Alright. Yeah, I'm pretty sure classes is the next thing we have to do. Classes are exciting. Not really. They're more of just mini games that you have to be on time for. And if you're not on time for, you get beat up by big people. Hey, Jimmy. Let me show you. No, no, I'm sorry. I have to follow uh, Gerald. Gerald. Call Gerald. Don't know where he's going. I think he went this way. That's Russell. There we go. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Oh, jeez. You like to eat fast? Peace. I want to make peace with you, brother. What I do? Sorry. You. Cash, now! Oh, I gotta appease the bully by giving him Please some don't of my money. hurt me. 
<laughs> Stupid. <laughs> hey, fifty dollars, my boy. That is a lot of money. Who, who just randomly carries around Next that kind of money to school? More doofus. It's just ridiculous. Come on, let's break into it and steal something. That'll yeah. teach him. Down with that. Don't let right. the prefects see you break any rules. They'll hurt you. Like a boss. <laughs> I wish it was that easy to crack a log. Well done! That'd be great. Okay, anything else? Anything else I need to know? Dots and radar, watch out for them. Alright, Captain. Oh! Now you in real trouble! Okay, no. They're going after Gerald. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Hide in the garbage can or skip the prefix. Better not fall asleep. Hide in the garbage can. What's going on over here? I'm coming, Gerald. Oh, even the girls are trying to get in on us. What is this? School is horrible. Jimmy, this way. No one find out what I can do. Ah, never even known. I'm a good person. Well, I mean, apparently not, according to my backstory, but you guys know what I mean. Just trying to keep it real. Just trying to keep it real. Okay. Oh, man! There's that weird chick, Eunice. Let's have some fun with her. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Go! See what she wants! Oh, no! <laughs> you okay? What is wrong, Eunice? He took my chocolate! Please get it back! Of course they did. Watch it. Hashtag fat girl problems. Okay, going to find this lady's chocolate. Apparently that's the thing that matters when you're in high school. Apparently. There he is. I don't know. Show what you're made of. Whoa! Take this stupid chocolate. That's what you get. Yeah. Why did you do that? I wish I could give him a swirly. I actually probably can, but I don't know how, so I'm not gonna bother with it. I, I will make it my goal in this let's play to learn how to do a swirly. That'd be great. And here is your fat chick candy, fat chick. Thanks. Um, wanna make out? No, I do not. Sheesh. That is disgusting. I'll remember this forever. You actually hey, I'm sure I will too. Let's go to the calf. I'll show you the local wildlife. Oh, he calls it a calf. We need like That's uh pretty gay of him. No, I don't run to walls, Jimmy. Don't do that. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now, over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. All right. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. I was just gonna say that. You very, very angry person. <laughs> 